tomorrow night is Halloween, um, and I wanted to talk about like horror movies. And stuff. Yeah. So, so the first part of our Halloween, I, I want to divide it into two segments. So the first one, I want to talk about some of our favorite horror movies mm-hmm. and some of our favorite horror movie franchises. Yeah. So, um, off the top of your head, what are what are some of your favorites? Uh, I know it's kind of not. It's it's a horror movie that plays on horror movie tropes and stuff, but Cabin in the Woods is easily my favorite movie in the horror genre. I was very pleasantly surprised with Cabin in the Woods. Right? Uh, and that's a Joss Whedon. Yeah, like, it is. He produced it or he had something to do with I it. I think he co-wrote it. Yeah. I, I really liked that. and but, I mean, but it just off the top of my head, first name that comes to my mind, mm-hmm. Cabin in the Woods is probably my favorite horror slash horror comedy slash horror making fun of horror tropes well if we're talking about my favorite horror comedy it would be evil dead 2 which is so Um, good i actually was uh looking at my on this day on uh facebook today and uh i had apparently like four or five years ago posted a thing that said is watching because this was back when you still had to do the yeah the Chris is blah, is blah, 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 doing blah. whatever. Yeah. So, yeah uh, is watching uh, Evil Dead 2. Bruce Campbell is amazing. Right. You know, I first saw that trilogy. My father invited some of his buddies over and he was like, we're going to watch the Evil Dead movies. And I was probably maybe like 14, mm-hmm. something like that. And he let me watch them all with them. And so, like, the first movie is just a straight-up horror movie. Yeah, straight-up cheesy B horror Army of Darkness is a comedy. Yeah. Okay, but Evil Dead 2 is that sweet spot. Yeah. Just that perfect mix of horror and comedy, and I love it. That being said, haven't watched a single episode of Ash vs. the Evil Dead. I haven't gotten a chance to. And I did, did, however, watch the remake of the Evil Dead Mm. uh, in the movie theater when it came out. Loved it. Yeah, I heard it was, it was great. like pretty fucking Did you terrifying. Ever see it? No, I oh, haven't dude. I haven't watched it. You should see it. I heard it was pretty fucking terrifying yeah. though. So some of my other favorite horror movies, um, some that I've talked about on the podcast before, mm-hmm. Dead Alive yeah. by uh Peter Jackson. That's another horror comedy. Yeah. Um and uh Cabin Fever, the original yeah. Yeah. by Eli Roth. I liked the uh hostile movies mm. too. Those were just so gore. like gory, gory. cringe inducing, yeah. just ugh, oh my god. Um, but yeah, those were those were good uh, to me. Now, as far as like classic horror movies go, mm. uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, yeah, the first one. Yeah, you go back to Halloween, Friday the Thirteenth. Right. Um, my favorite scene in Nightmare on Elm Street is the very end, whenever they think everything's fine. The mom is waving goodbye to the kids, and out pops Freddy's <laughs> hand. Pulls wow. her whole body, body into the, into the tiniest into little the tiniest window, window of the door. <laughs> yeah, and I just love that. And then the the hood of the car goes up, and it's red and green mm. striped, like Freddy's shirt. Yeah, and I love Freddy Krueger. He's I love the way he always like calls everybody a bitch. Yeah, you know, <laughs> and and just just <laughs> being uh, just being a kid in the nineties when all those wacky horror movies. Well, the ones out. that came out like in the 80s. The 80s and the 90s, yeah. And then, you know, all their sequels were coming right. out in the 90s. But so some of my favorite, other favorite horror franchises were like the Hellraiser movies. Oh. Specifically. The first two. Well, well the for first me, one. it's the first three. Really? I love the. F- I've never seen the, the third The first one. Hellraiser movie was, was Great. good. Directed by Clive Barker. Mm-hmm. Who, who wrote also the book, wrote the, book, the, the Hellbound Heart, which I read uh, yeah, as a I kid. I did too. Um. Uh, and then the second Hellraiser movie, which was a continuation of that story with the mm-hmm. same characters. Now, yeah. the third Hellraiser movie, uh, Hell on Earth, was a, a radical departure to it, but it introduced some more Cenobites. It got into a little bit more of the backstory mm-hmm. of Pinhead, yeah. and it starred uh, Terry Farrell, who was that name Jadzia Dax in Deep Space Nine. <laughs> <laughs> which i've never watched all of deep space well, i've seen well, i've seen probably handfuls of episodes it's the deep only space movie Nine. i know of that she was in besides being in star trek <laughs> now as far as like going forward in the hellraiser series like bloodlines mm. and then the direct video ones those were pretty much all crap yeah 
I did not like the Hellraiser in space. Now, apparently they may be doing a remake to it and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Uh, I kind of, that's one of those that I just kind of wish they would just leave alone and forget about. Now I did see the, they made a Hellraiser movie just a couple years ago, shot it in like a, like a week, I think <laughs> just to hold on to the rights. And it was just terrible. It didn't mm. even have Doug Bradley in it. So that, that wasn't very good. Another, another movie that I like speaking of, clive barker movies is nightbreed did you ever see that no that's not one that i've seen i've heard of it uh and i think i've seen like a trailer or some clips from it but i've never actually sat down and watched that whole movie right what about like uh jason jason movies uh i've seen probably three or four of those really like i saw the original i've seen friday the 13th too obviously Mm -hmm. uh because that's the first one where you actually get jason as Mm -hmm. jason right but because... he didn't have the hockey mask. He didn't get the hockey mask till the third one. He right. just had a bag over his head. Yeah. <laughs> in, is... in, in... <laughs> the first two Friday the 13th two. movies are very strange because when you think of Friday the 13th, obviously you think of Jason Voorhees. Right. But the first one is all about Jason's it's his mom, mom yeah. fucking doing all the murdering. And then you see like little mud covered Jason pop out At of the, very the fucking end, yeah. lake and mm-hmm. drag some bitch under. Whatever. And that introduced a lot of those those tropes. Well, along with the first Halloween movie, too, is you know the the kids are having sex mm. and they end up getting killed yep because, because the, they had because sex. they had dirty they sex. had filthy sex dirty they filthy their sex bodies. how dare you children <laughs> Um, if you have sex, you will be murdered. I remember as a kid, you know, of course, my parents wouldn't let me like rent these movies and watch them unedited. But, you know, channels like USA and TNT yeah, would they have would play marathons edited and versions edited for, of them, edited yeah. for TV. So I watched a lot of those movies uh, as a kid edited for television didn't get a chance unless i was like spending the night with a friend whose parents didn't give a shit Mm -hmm. what he watched and then then we would go and rent like horror movies but i went through a phase probably when i was in high school where i would go to these video stores that would do these like special deals like seven movies for seven days for seven bucks you know i remember that deal that was such a wonderful and i would go into the horror movie section and i would rent i would rent horror movies just based on the box art alone (laughs) You know, and and watch some just terrible horror movies, but then found some hidden gems and kind of discovered trauma mm. movies. Yeah, along James the way, Gunn stuff. Yeah, James Gunn. Well, he really only worked on a couple of trauma. He movies, did, but yeah. you know, I'm talking about like the Toxic Avenger, yeah, and Class of Newcomb High, and like Beware Children at Play, <laughs> and Sergeant Kabuki Man, NYPD, and and just they they have such a, a vast library, which almost all trauma movies you can watch on YouTube for free now, <laughs> nice. which is great. Uh, but anyway, so what are some other like I, I've talked a lot about some of my favorites. Mm. Now, me and you, there's a bit of an age gap here. So, yeah. so what what were horror movies? Do you remember like growing up? My and really liking one enjoyment? of my best friends when I was in late middle school and high school introduced me to the Halloween movies, right? Yeah. Which have like one and two have become some of my favorite. Uh, just to go back and enjoy. Right. Well, and you know, the first Halloween movie kind of gave birth to the whole like slasher, Mm -hmm. you know, if it wasn't for Michael Myers, we probably wouldn't have had Freddy or Jason. Mm. And uh, because the Halloween movie started in the 70s. Right. right. And introduced us to Jamie Lee Curtis Mm. as well. And John Carpenter. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no, the Halloween movies are definitely iconic, but there's a point where they fell off and i think what they made their first mistake was when they did halloween 3 and it yeah, wasn't a michael myers story it had nothing to do it was what was it yeah. season of the witch or something yeah. like that yeah and now they ended up realizing their mistake and was going that back the to one it. with the the pumpkin mm-hmm. masks the that pumpkin like on the melted cover. your brain or, or whatever dude it's been so long since i've seen yeah. it I, I can tell you about the 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 video box cover more than i can tell you about the actual movie right um, i remember uh watching that one because it was on like a tmc or Mm -hmm. like they were doing like a halloween marathon or something so you know i watched one and two i was like yeah i love these movies okay and then three came on and i was like when is i'm looking at my watch when is when is michael myers gonna show up what the The fuck is going on nothing no michael myers in number three but then he gets unmasked in number four and that kind of ruins the 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 mystery i guess right of michael myers 
you see his face and that destroys that movie what do you think about the rob zombie reboots i have those? not you... seen oh i saw both of them they were pretty good are they i, I enjoyed them yeah i don't think they did a disservice to that's the, good to the lore but i mean really after like i mean it's halloween not... h2o can you really yeah, yeah well, fair enough I mean, you know, what's <laughs> the deal so uh let's let's move on because i want to talk about scary movies, movies that, that, that legit actually scared us. legit Which, scared us. honestly one that uh is a great movie that that transitions and uh-huh. that's why i'm bringing it up now the shining it is a great movie and it's one of my favorites and it truly terrifies me let's talk about it this one